Hello everyone, this is Yakalitna here and in this video we are going to solve a differential equation from higher order linear differential equation. So let's get going. Problem. Solve d squared plus 9 into y equals to cos cube x. Solution. Given differential equation. d squared plus 9 into y equals to cos cube x. Firstly, let's find the order and degree of the given equation. We can write the given equation as d square y plus 9y equals to cos cube x. We know that d equals to d by dx. Then d square is d square by dx square. Then we can write the equation as d square y by dx square plus 9 into it's just y, right? Like y into cos cube x. Now identify the highest derivative here. D square y by dx square is the highest derivative. Also, d square is also called as highest derivative, right? So now, since the highest derivative is d square, so 2 will be our order. And the highest power of the highest derivative, power of the highest derivative is our degree. Degree is 1. So we are given a differential equation which is in operator form. f of d into y equals to q where f of d equals to d square plus 9 and q equals to cos cube x. Now we need to find the general solution to the given equation, which is given by y equals to yc plus yp. Here yc is a complementary function, yp is a particular integral. We will find yc using the roots of the auxiliary equation of the homogeneous equation of the given non-homogeneous equation, right? By taking RHS to 0, we will get f of d into y equals to 0, which is a homogeneous equation to the non-homogeneous equation or homogeneous equation of the non-homogeneous equation we can say and we'll find yp using 1 by f of d into q. Now firstly we'll find complementary function using the auxiliary equation of homogeneous equation of the given non-homogeneous equation. The auxiliary equation of f of d into y equals to 0 is f of m equals to 0, where f of m equals to, we have f of d equals to d square plus 9. So let's replace the differential operator d by m in f of d, then we'll get f of m equals to m square plus 9. Then our auxiliary equation becomes m square plus 9 equals to 0, so we can find roots in two ways. Take this 9 to RHS, you will get minus 9. Then m equals to plus or minus square root of minus 9. Again, you can write minus 9 as minus 1 into 9, which is equal to plus or minus. Now split this as square root of minus 1 into square root of 9. We know that square root of minus 1 equals to i and square root of 9 is 3. Then this becomes plus or minus i into 3 or plus or minus 3i. Okay. Now let's see the other way. We are having m square plus 9 equals to 0, right? Now we can write plus 9 as minus of minus 9. Then m square minus, you can write it as again minus 1 into 9. Right? We'll just write minus 9 as minus 1 into 9. Then we'll get m square minus of, we know that i square equals to minus 1 and 3 square equals to 9. Now replace minus 1 by i square and 9 by 3 square. Then we'll get m square minus i square and 3 square can be written as 3i whole square. Right? This is in 
a square minus b square form. So you can write as a plus b into a minus b equals to 0. Now equate each factor to 0. From m plus 3i equals to 0, you will get m equals to minus 3i. From m minus 3i equals to 0, you will get m equals to plus 3i. Right? Then m equals to minus 3i and plus 3i or you can just write it as plus or minus 3i. You will get the same answer. Fine? So, then m equals to plus or minus 3i. Are the roots of f of m equals to 0 or of the equation which are imaginary since we don't have any real part so we can call it as imaginary roots or complex conjugate. We know that a plus ib is a complex number, right? Then the conjugate of this is a minus ib. If we consider one complex number, a minus ib, then the conjugate of this is a plus ib. So we can call a plus ib as complex conjugate numbers, right? Or complex conjugate simply. But in our case, real part is 0. So, we'll call plus or minus ib as imaginary root. Okay? Fine. Now, then we have some root m equals to a plus or minus ib. Again, complex conjugate. Then we'll write yc as e power real part into x into c1, one constant otherwise, one constant into cos bx plus another constant into sine bx right then a is 0 then you will get 0 into x which is e power 0 into c1 cos bx plus c2 sine bx we know that e power 0 is 1 then we will get 1 into c1 cos bx plus c2 sine bx which is nothing but c1 cos bx the C2 sign Bx. Right? Now, for B equals to 3, okay, for B equals to 3, we have complementary function. Yc equals to C1 cos 3x plus C2 sign 3x. Now we can find yp. Now let's find particular integral. Using yp equals to 1 by f of d into q. We have f of d, d is square plus 9 and q is cos cube x. We know that cos 3 theta equals to 4 cos q theta minus 3 cos theta. Or you can just write this as 4 cos q theta minus 3 cos theta equals to cos 3 theta. Right? Now, take this second term to RHS, you will get 4 cos q theta equals to cos 3 theta plus 3 cos theta. Now take this 4 to RHS. You will get cos cube theta equals to 1 by 4 into cos 3 theta plus 3 cos theta. Now for theta equals to x, you will get cos cube x equals to 1 by 4 into cos 3x plus 
3 cos x. Right? Since cos cube x equals to 1 by 4 into cos 3x plus 3 cos x, we can replace this cos cube theta or cos cube x by 1 by 4 into cos 3x plus 3 cos x in yp. Then this becomes 1 by d square plus 9 into 1 by 4 into cos 3x plus 3 cos x. You can also write this as constant 1 by 4 into 1 by f of d into cos 3x plus 3 cos x. Right? This is equal to 1 by 4 into 1 by f of d into cos 3x, that is 1 by d square plus 9 into cos 3x plus 1 by d square plus 9 into 3 cos x. Again, you can write this as 1 by 4 into 1 by d square plus 9 into cos 3x plus 3 into 1 by d square plus 9 into cos x. Now we have yp equals to 1 by 4 into 1 by d square plus 9 into cos 3x plus 3 into 1 by d square plus 9 into cos x. Now you can name the first term as yp1. And 1 by f of d into cos x as the terms under these brackets as yp2. Okay. Or you can just find each term separately. Okay. So firstly let's find 1 by d square plus 9 into cos 3x. So this is of 1 by f of d into cos ax form. Now. For a equals to 3, we will find d square, which is given by minus a square equals to minus. For a equals to 3, you will get minus 3 square equals to minus 9. Now, let's see what we are going to get by replacing d square by minus 1. Okay. Now, I'll just consider 1 by f of d, that is d square plus 9. We will get 1 by minus 9 plus 9, which is equals to 1 by 0, which is undefined. Right. So, we can't replace d square by minus 9 here. We should get d the denominator non-zero. So what we'll do? We'll just write the independent variable into 1 by find the derivative of d square plus 9. Okay. If f of d equals to d square plus 9, then f dash of d will be 2d. Derivative of d square is 2d plus derivative of a constant is 0, which is 2d. Like 2d into cos 3x. Now you can just write this as x by 2 into 1 by d into cos 3x and find 1 by d cos 3x. Right? 1 by d in the sense inverse of differential operator, which means that we have to find the integral of cos 3x. Equals to x by 2 into integral cos 3x dx. Which is equals to x by 2 into integral cos 3x is sorry, sin 3x by 3. Right? This becomes x by 2 into I'm just writing as it is equals to x sin 3x by 2 3 the 6. Or you can just write it as 1 by 6 into x sin 3x. Or simply x by 6 into sin 3x. Right? Therefore, 1 by d square plus 9 into cos 3x is 
x by 6 into sin 3x. Now let's find 1 by f of d into cos x. This is also of 1 by f of d into cos ax form. Now for a equals to 1, we'll find d square, which is given by minus a square, which is equals to minus. For a equals to 1, you'll get minus 1 square equals to minus 1. Right? Now let's see what happens if we replace d square by minus 1 in the denominator. We'll get minus 1 plus 9 equals to 8, which is not equals to 0. So the denominator will be not equals to 0 after replacing d square by minus 1. So we can replace d square. get 1 by minus 1 plus 9 into cos x which is equal to 1 by 8 into cos x right therefore 1 by f of d that is 9 square sorry d square plus 9 into cos x equals to 1 by 8 cos x now coming to yp yp becomes 1 by 4 into result obtained from 1 by f of d into cos 3x is x by 6 into sine 3x plus 3 into result obtained from 1 by d square plus 9 into cos x is 1 by 8 into cos x. This becomes 1 by 4 into x by 6 into sine 3x plus 1 by 4 into 3 into 1 by 8 into cos x which is equal to x by cos x are 24 into sin x, sorry, sin 3x plus 3, 1 into 3 into 1 is 3 by 4x are 32 into cos x. Therefore, yp equals to x by 24 sin 3x plus 3 by 32 into cos x. Now we can write the general solution. The general solution is given by y equals to yc plus yp. Then y equals to we have yc c1 cos 3x plus c2 sin 3x plus yp x by 24 sine 3x plus 3 by 32 cos x. Right? This completes the problem. So we have seen a problem from higher order linear differential equations in this video. Hope you will understand. We will see you in the next video. Until then, bye bye.